Hello, and welcome to Ticket to Ride Online. I'm Jerry, your conductor. If you want to play, just take the ticket in my hand. You can also visit the train station to learn more about the game. Either grab my ticket to play, or enter the station through the door on the right. As you can see and hear, this is Ticket to Ride, uh, the video game. Play on the classic US map that got it all started. If this is your very first game, select this destination. It's the same one found in the classic Ticket to Ride board game. Now, I bought the uh, Ticket to Ride European Edition board game a few weeks ago, and we've had some great fun with it. Um, I got this game because I backed the Tabletop Season 3 Indiegogo campaign, so I got a free copy of the game. Uh, if you're not familiar, um, well, you'll become familiar during the game. It's basically a train building game. You get a number of tickets to fulfill. And uh, you have to pull cars and try and build the tickets. Let's just flick through some maps here. Ticket to Ride Europe takes you on a new train adventure through the great cities of the turn of the century Europe. Discover new rules like tunnels, ferries and stations. So, to play this I'd have to buy the additional content, which is obviously why they're happy to give the game away for free. Explore the Verdun Valleys and Mountain Passes of Switzerland. The Swiss map is designed specifically for two or three players. Try your luck with 35 all-new destination tickets in this variant of the classic US map. Also includes a new Globetrotter bonus card for the most completed tickets, replacing the longest road bonus. All right. Explore the ticket to play on the classic U.S. map. Sorry, that got it all if this is That's your very first points. game, select this destination. It's the same one found in the classic Ticket to Ride Let's board go. game. three of them. So Seattle, Los Angeles is a bit out of the way there. But on the other hand, it's a fairly straightforward route by the look of it, with uh, double trains all the way. Okay. So I have two yellows. So I can claim that uh, the grey, the grey bit. Yeah, yeah. The grey ones you can use any colour cards. Whereas particular routes with five particular cards. Now that's a black route. I'm going to need, I think I want to get that black card. And what else will I want? I will want some green cards later on. I don't want to claim that route. And let's go from the top of the bar. Oh, red one. So the other players are doing it quite right. In that they're. Um, I don't want to claim that route either. Foolish game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, I've got an engine. The locomotives are a wire card. So you score points for laying trains. The length of the track is the points. So I still want a black one to complete this Nashville to um, draw from the top. White. Two whites. Oh, there you got black ones. to Nashville. I don't really care if you're going where they want to go. Let's do that. Uh, I better clean that if they're going to mess around in my... Uh, the other people can build your routes before you do. Cause issues. I don't want to do that. A red one. I can't draw the engine because that uses up your whole turn. So I'll just take one from the top. There we go. We're sorted now. Completed one of my routes. So that'll be tickets at the end of the game. Now, yes, yeah, so I want to get New York and I want to get to Dallas. Let's take the engine. Let's take another engine. So you can take new tickets after you complete them. I want to meant to say cards off the top there. Why on earth would I want that card? There we go. cards, which is strange. Two black ones. Lettuce. Yes, 
just use it for that later. There we go. I'm not going to waste a locomotive on that. Completion of the ticket. That's good. Dallas, New York is my next target. Overview of how the game works. But basically, I'm trying to complete my tickets. I think I'm losing at the minute. Am I losing? 31, 51, 34. Yes, I am. That's completed another ticket, right? 11 points. So. I've got 19, he's got 20, 14. I'm going to draw another ticket. Three tickets he's drawn, three tickets he's drawn. Oh. Alright, let's take the engine while it's there. Let's draw some more tickets and have a look at them. Yes, let's take some new tickets. Toronto to Miami. I could probably do that. Cameron Phoenix is going to be a bit trouble. Portland, Nashville. Let's do Toronto to Miami. following advice, I'd be winning or something. I don't think I am though. Alright, 13 left. Alright, I'm picking a card. So when, basically, when everyone runs out of trains, the game ends. I've got 13, 14, and 13. So I don't know that I want to take another ticket at this point. Maybe I do want to get them red ones, and we'll go from Dallas to El Paso. That's what I'll pass on. Now the, there is a bonus, I get the longest route. Yes, I know that. Let's pick this card, what do I need for this? Six. Draw that card again, and I can go all pass out to Los Angeles. And that should give me a nice long route. Go here from basically St. Marie 
to Seattle. Yeah, random card, no problem. Some of the yellow one. Do I have enough roots? Where can I go? I can probably go... I'll go to Vancouver, that'll make a route longer. Let's do that. I don't know if that'll help. gonna win them. But I'm not last. Oh. I was close. I was close. So as you spotted there, if you didn't complete the tickets, that took the points off at the end, which is why um Elise did so badly. I don't know what this was. So, um, that's probably been a fairly vague introduction to the game there. Um, it is quite a lot of fun playing against people you know in the board game. I should imagine, since you play this online as well, that would also be quite a lot of fun. Um, definitely a game worth checking out, even if you're not usually into board games. It could be a, a quite fun uh, long distance effect. <laughs> long distance um, activity with, you know, not quite so much shooting and violence as what I usually do. Uh, I'm going to leave it there.